back in the saddle, as it were. One sec. Controller. Right. Hmm. I love that I have the controller, even if the controls are a little bit slippery for some reason. All right. Three out of eight. Or seven. I think the last one was defeating the boss or something weird. All right. Hmm. Probably need my minions. Hmm. I was thinking of fusing things. I want to use the dragon. Should I just fuse a clown to it? Hmm, I wonder what ability the mule has. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> the Camarilla? I hope not. <laughs> well, better than the Sabat, I suppose. <clears throat> Alright, let me see. What am I going to fuse? What am I going to fuse you with? Mm. Who are you going to replace? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a whole lot of it. Alright. Alright. All right, what else? What else do I want to do? <laughs> Man, back when I was in uh, middle school, I had a bus driver who was really into it. Oh, man. The technocracy, the mages, uh, just, just so much. The wraith stuff. All right, I'm going to... I'm gonna, excuse me, hiccups. Let me go ahead and go over here. Yeah, those two I'm gonna fuse. All right. Yeah, yeah, let me see what's in the safe. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Hmm. Junk. Hmm. I think Mazar are the ones that level, so I'll take that. I guess I'll take an action. No, a medical. I'll put one of these back. Hmm. <laughs> the heir of Cain. That's a. That's a bit much, isn't it? I mean, that's a step beyond the antediluvians, even. All right, we'll make a short dive to just try to fuse some stuff to my dragon. I think I'd be happy with either a block or a spider for this dragon. Uh, they're making, uh, I'm sure you know about it, that they're making another uh, Vampire the Masquerade game soon. A sequel to the really good one. Supposedly. <laughs> we'll have to see what they deliver. Alright. No, that's definitely wrong. Do not do that. Alright. Alright. Hmm. I need to kill something and level this up. Just a smidge. Okay. 
something to murder. You'll do for a start. Doc got it. There we go. Whoa. That feels like a pretty intense attack. Shame I'm using my bare hand with it. Doesn't look like it eats too much MP. Huh. That would be entirely too much power. I mean, when an antediluvian wakes up, it's like every single, what was it? Every single vampire that's got basically any, oh, it worked with their madnesses, their crazinesses. But like basically a huge portion of the vampires are instantly uh, obedient to the antediluvian. And the antediluvians are third gen. There are no second gen vampires. There's nothing even close to Cain, and Antediluvians waking up is the apocalypse, the end of the world. Or did that already happen in their world? I think they did apocalypse their world. I'm not, I'm not sure. My information might be outdated. But to get the powers, the, the actual powers of Cain? Oh, that's just it, man. I, oh crap, Doc Gun. I, oh man, I cannot fight this thing. Can I? Alright, hold on. Darn it, if I killed this thing, it would be the level up we need. Alright, hold on, I can. Sleep. Okay, that's all I needed. Send out the Death Scythe. Okay. All right, yes, it remains fire type. It gains level down and it gets the double speed for magic. Become one. Okay. Oh, yeah. It said it eats metal. That's weird. I have to experiment with that. <laughs> that hits much harder. Oh, great. Some of those sound like the powers of the Dragon Reborn from the Wheel of Time. Well... A little bit. Nope. Alright, let's see what we got down here. Nothing. Huh. <laughs> Must have all the blood. Okay. Hmm. I need to see what happens when it eats metal. Does this count? 
It loves what it's eating. It restored MP. I can feed it coins. It's got infinite MP. <laughs> that was pretty cool. All right, let's try. Ooh. Go! And then... Coins are everywhere. That's... Wow! I found the ultimate pet. I found the ultimate pet! Huh. Here, you can have all this amazing power! I'm just not gonna tell you that if you use it, you die. This is the ultimate pet. I guess I should combine it with a block. I mean... Hmm, of course it's not leveling that, but that's probably okay. I mean, I would like it to be combined with a spider for double attack, but... Squirrel, yo! I accept your challenge. By which I mean I run back till my dragon can back me up. And I splat your face with fire! Hmm. I just beat him with my bare hands. So what if they were on fire? It was still my bare hands, it still counts. Any pet compare to this? Hmm. Guess I should equip something. Oh, hey, money wand. That's worth something. Not that it matters, since I don't have a wind crystal. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I could just fire its direct blast as much as I want. And holy shit, does it hit hard. This is ridiculous. I am so glad I picked this one. I don't know what the killer or the, the maximum or the tyrant had for their special abilities, but this... I think the dragon was my ultimate pet the last time I played the game, too. Sure. I almost died just there. Eh, we did what we came for. Oh my gosh. Well, what's your theory? 
I still want to play the first game over as a Malkavian. Such a cool game. I want to get into arguments with stop signs. Ah, a fork! Oh well, I'll just go visit Fur, dump it all on her. I should just buy an alarm clock. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We want the shield, and we're gonna want. We want the ultimate eggs. Uh, I want the block. I gotta have Stark with me. Who next? You're pretty good, but I've already got a fire element now. A wind is really freaking useful. I'll take Garuda. And you're pretty good too. You are. There was already an antediluvian in a box in the first game. And there were already vampires trying to wake it up. That would just be the same plot as the previous. It probably is, though. Need access to safe. Let me see. Alright. Three level ups just sitting there. I guess the question would be, which one do they wake up? Alright. I suppose they could do some big giant apocalyptic thing. Hello. I'm a traveling cellist. Please listen to my song. Well, the animals like it. Hmm. Don't the vampires have to be like super careful they don't spread diseases? Hey, how's it going? Move, move, move! You grubby bum! Polluting Nico's Park! Stop it, gosh! This park isn't just mine, it's for everyone! No! I donated my money for you to build this park. Get out, you bum! What? Well, any mo any opportunity to make Gosh look stupid. Let's have a duel right now! What? It's you again? Was this a deal between bums or what? What's wrong with chasing out bums from a beautiful park? He's a musician. He's just a street performer. The music, was, the music was beautiful. Yes, it was beautiful. I want to hear more. Even a cat wants to listen. Why can't Gosh understand something even a cat appreciates? You expect too much from Gosh. Gosh? Ah, fools! Oh, don't step on a cat. They'll never forget. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. I was so glad when you rescued me, but I was even happier when you said my music was beautiful. Oh, sorry. I might have been cruel to you lately. I just didn't want to see your face. Are you upset? You must me. Give me a punch if you like. No. <laughs> no, if I punch you, you'll explode. And your remains will go flying off like Team Rocket. Seriously. Have you seen what I've done in that tower? Ah, the only thing Ko was taught from his father. Woman? Who, me? Did you just say I'm a woman? What, you hadn't noticed before now? Okay, from now on, Ko and I are back to where we were before, alright? Okay. Uh-oh. There it goes. Just wondering if, it, if the game got stuck. 
Oh, let's see. I suppose a little visit to the... Uh, well, let's go in here. Let's go into the bar. Good morning. Today I'm here as a scout to see Vivian. Well, I've got to get moving. Someone's here to see Vivian with some good news. Yeah, yeah, I, I know who he is. I built the theater. Go oh, listen, a person from the theater asked me if I'd like to dance. I can dance on that enormous stage. Yeah, anytime you want. Go ahead. I own the place. Oh, this city has a theater. My dream is to dance on an enormous stage. Until now, I've been to several cities, but not one of them had a decent theater. It was had the city of Haruka had one, but it was gone. I'm glad to came to this city. My dream is gonna come true. You kinda just repeat yourself. You mentioned the city of Haruka and their theater being gone once already. Ah, well. Library, library, that's where I was going. Let's see, I believe I built that over here. Hello, uh, uh, I can't think of anything to talk about. Ask me anything regarding novels, cartoons, or animation. Even topics on pictures and eavesdropping. But when it comes to topics that girls are likely to talk about... <laughs> eavesdropping? Ah. Uh. Okay, this was a mistake. I should not let him let have let you choose the subject of conversation. Ah, crap. There we go. Nope. You know what? I want someplace else. Oh yeah. Let's see. Oh, oh. How is selfie doing these days? Mr. Ko, I'm so happy. Okay, that's it. All right. I seem to remember her being a lot more sadomasochistic. Hmm. Maybe my memories are failing me. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Have you become a surgeon yet? Oh, hey, look, she actually has an outfit to go with it. I'm not sure that's the best hat for your profession, but okay. After repeatedly asking to help, the doctors allowed me to assist him. And she was very insistent I couldn't help but have her become a nurse. <laughs> and what have you come for today? Y yeah, I've come to see you. Uh, y can you say more now? Right now in my life, every single day is so much fun. Well, okay. Well, it seems to be working out well. Bah! I've got fur, and I've got, uh... Patty. I'm set. See, blah blah blah. Nope, I'm done. And I think we're done in town. Let's get back to the action. I still need to, either a block or a arachne. Either one will do. This will be the big expedition for leveling up the dragon and hopefully evolving it in one go. As long as it doesn't explode, I should be fine. If anything blows it into uh, greasy chunks, then we'll have to leave and come back. Uh, 
I should be able to just have this thing out perpetually. This is ridiculous. This pet is just straight up broken. It's the ultimate familiar, and I'm so glad I went out of my way to get... Can you imagine how many times you'd have to go through the tower before you get lucky enough to get an egg for it? Ooh. Oh, perfect. This run is off to an auspicious beginning. Now if I could just find some red and blue sand. Let's see. Darn. Stupid sea seed. Ah, Frobscottle. Haven't seen any of that in a while. Actually, I'm high enough level, I should be able to just start skipping floors. Well, actually, I want to be careful with the dragon for now. For its first run, once it evolves, it'll be in good shape. Ah. I've had to do a couple of hard resets on my digestive system. When having trouble. So I know what that's like. Okay, let's see. Yeah, sure are a lot of buggers around here. Especially after seeing the high floors where monsters are so infrequent but horrifically deadly. If I combine it with a block, it would have, I would have an AOE splat. Hmm, that would be pretty nice, but I'd have to level the magic up by leveling the block up before fusion. Kind of a pain. But the block is probably the better pick, making the dragon more durable. Oh, it's you again. I guess your sister doesn't come here anymore, huh? <laughs> oh wow, I could cast from all the way back there? Seems unnecessary. I'm surprised there's any of you left. You should have been incinerated by that. Crystal. I already have one, though. He is just leaking treasure now. He's just fully recharged. I'm just gonna give you give you full reign. You can fling spells, attack, do anything you want. Since you've got infinite MP. There's no reason to hold back. What do we got over here? Wake up herb. 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you this. Max HP. Why did he pack up? It's a shame I can't take the money out of, like, after I've collected it and just feed him that way. Oh well. What happens if I just throw money at someone? Did I try that already? I'm gonna use Payday! Apparently Ko was secretly a Meowth all along. No! Oh well. <laughs> One. It amuses me. It's theoretically possible to beat an enemy to death with money. Be difficult, but it can be done. <laughs> there we go. I discovered a trick back in high school. Makes you completely immune to smoke, which is good because we get massive forest fires some years. And it's horrible. The trick is, you learn how to make tiny portals. Once you know how to make tiny portals, you can just uh, open one inside your mouth and breathe through that. I like to put the other end of mine somewhere out in Arizona. It's a bit dry though. But it's a convenient location. Nobody ever looks. Ice? No. Why would I know how to use ice magic? I live in Alaska. Why would I want to know how to make more ice? Uh, I specialized mostly in fire magic. Like most Alaskans. Sorry, man. Can't help you there. Besides, what you really want is Olive Era. Throwing ice onto a burn? Not the best idea. Cool water could be okay, though. <laughs> well... Uh, you don't see too many bears. You mostly see lots of moose. Moose are or ornery curses. The amount of power that they can put behind those hooves. Ugh. Ugh. Let me put it this way. If you hit a moose with your car, the moose is the one who's going to come out better. <laughs> the car is not going to win that fight. Actually, I think, I think when a moose gets hit, I think that the state actually claims the uh, meat. I think. Don't know why that is. Just is. Uh oh. Hmm. I guess you're pretty durable. I needn't have been so worried. <laughs> I 
I just pushed fire with my hands. Alright, let's see. Okay. I don't really have any use for a gold sword. Maybe I'll feed it to the dragon. Oh, look, an egg. I don't think there's anything worth having on this floor. There, eat this. <laughs> I was calling other pets garbage disposals. I was mistaken. This, this is the first true omnivore that I've had as a pet. Uh, it's not. It's really, really not coming. Like, very much not so. Like, it was taking me a month to make each part. I'm pretty sure at the end of the last one I didn't say I was going to make another one. Pretty sure that... Ooh, wow, yeah, do that. Awesome. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Oh, wow, it used up a lot of its strength. So I'll just eat or feed him a bell. And, oh, he's not all better. I'll feed him a copper sword. Uh, yeah, more or less. It's been for some time. So basically, it was taking me a month to make each part, and uh, there was a lot of things that kind of had to be timely about it. Um, like, how do, I, how do I explain this? Like, as my beard and hair grew, it became impossible for me to record pieces of me talking and doing things and insert them without it obviously being different from the rest of the video. I would have to make my facial hair and hair match the previous footage exactly. And it was like just taking like a massive amount of effort for each piece. Like, I'm serious when I say it was taking, like, a month to make each part. And that was a month. I would, I would have to stop live streaming, stop writing my novel, and stop playing idle games for about a month to make one part. It was that intensive. All right, I'll be doing more Master of Magic. I'm taking a break at the moment and playing Age of Wonders, but I'll get back to Master of Magic. I had a lot of fun with, with the Burning Pacifist run, and I'm kind of proud of it, but so long as I have a full-time job, I just can't do projects that are that crazy. Like, uh, I had another big project I had been working on. Oops. Uh, earlier on, I had tried to do a uh, full cast uh, thing for uh, Feta. It was actually hard to find voice actors because I hadn't realized just how many characters were in that game. Oh, doggone it. Well, that ruins the whole point of this run, now doesn't it? find him in time. What beat him? How'd he lose a fight? Uh, well, we'll make this run short. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, no, I'd been doing a, a thing. I was having trouble finding the voice actors, and then I had one of those hard drive crashes, and I had been, like, I don't know, three-fourths away through the game. I had, you know, I basically, uh, basically had to had to let that project go starting everything over from scratch would have just been a nightmare but one of these days I'm gonna at least play through Feta and do a thing out of it 
I have a habit of biting off more than I can chew. A bad habit. I've been doing better about it lately. Hmm. You know what? Why am I even continuing? I mean, I know I want a block or spider, but that won't be for a while. I want the dragon with me, so you know what? Let's just do that. Mmm. Ah, oh, I loved d and D. I I used to DM so much. That was one of many things I had to give up to be a, to be a YouTuber. I had to give up a lot of things that I loved to really do YouTube. It's worth it, though. Because I love doing YouTube. <laughs> I still haven't read Homestuck. I have a, oh no, she's back! Well, she didn't butt stomp me or kick me or anything else. You helped me play the cello at the park. I did not teach you how to play the cello. That was pretty music. Beautiful! I knew from then. That to be cultured is not to obtain things or skills. It comes from the heart. The heart to try and make it better. The heart to understand the beauty in something that is beautiful. Things and sources originating from such hearts are what culture is all about. Well, that doesn't matter since I do understand it. That's why I want to be honest to my heart and feelings. You gotta keep shooting for the step above. Today above yesterday, tomorrow above today. I think you're confused. That's a good philosophy to, li philosophy to live by, but it has nothing to do with cultural. There's no sense be being alone and feeling sorry for yourself. Co, since when were you and Selfie so close to each other? No, forget I asked it. It doesn't change my own feelings. Uh, okay. No, I'm a barbarian. I'm the opposite of culture. Ah! Culture makes you people weak, you city folk. I just I just love that detail. Hmm. my own heated swimming pool and let's see what should we do while we're in town Nico it's me gosh the prince of Mons Bayou why can't you let me in Oh no, why would she let a stupid guy like Mr. Cohen and not me? Hey, Co. I'm glad. Recently, it gives me pleasure just to see your face. Well, it's better than when you're getting pleasure from kicking me in the face every morning. Uh, no, no, let me, let me pass. Ah! Here, I'll get around like this. <sighs> See, the girls are all supposed to be in my house fighting over me every morning, I think. I'm not sure what exactly what went wrong with that. Have you ever been in a pool before? Y yes I went to the pool, but I've got to take my glasses off and I'm afraid to go any place where there's a lot of people. Could you come to the pool with me? Sure, why not? After I went through all the trouble to purify the water and everything. Wow, you brought a girl today! Way to go, Ko! Gotta keep a close eye on you. <laughs> Enjoy your precious time with her. Uh, I'm gonna go get changed. Okay. A 
Has Fur arrived at the pool yet? What in the world are those things holding it on? They look like... They look like buckles. It's very irregular. What should I say? Oh. Yeah, uh-huh. Did you ever put tacks in his shoes like you threatened? Hey, Ko, who's the cute girl you're with? If I don't know her, does that mean she just moved into this, to this city recently? I'll tell you something, miss. The man you're with is the most disliked man of this city. Well, at the start that was true, but since I became wealthy and powerful, that seems to have changed. Hanging out with guys like that is like walking the back streets of life. Why not come with me and discuss love? Even if Ko is the most disliked man in the city, he is the person I like the most in this world. And the person I dislike the most in this city is you! You, you dislike me? The, the one and only Gosh Road? Ally of all beautiful women? <laughs> I don't believe you. Why, this is the first time we've ever met. No, I met you at the library. At the library? The only woman I met at the library was that gloomy girl wearing gla- uh. Come to think of it, your hairstyle and facial expression look familiar. No, you've got to be kidding! You're the girl with glasses? You never told me you were so cute without your glasses. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, you've ruined your chances with every woman in town. Why are you acting surprised? This was supposed to be a wonderful moment with you, Ko, but now I'm feeling terrible. I'm gonna go home. Could you come again with me, please? I swear, Fur and some other people are supposed to come here. I mean, I know Patty doesn't ever come, because she's forever working, but... I don't know. I swear more people are supposed to be here. Hmm. Diving me crazy. Well, let's see how things turned out with Vivian before we go back in the tower and hopefully not lose the dragon again. Let's see. Oh, wait, that is a theater. What are you doing here? I hear the co made this theater. Yep, it certainly has the smell of culture to it. You haven't seen the comedy act, or you wouldn't say that. I truly hope this will bring more comfort to the people of this city. Man, Ko really is a cultural kind of guy. I absolutely don't want to make the mistake of getting dragged into the comedy routine again. Maybe she's not in here. Maybe I should check the bar first. Just in case I really don't want to get dragged into his comedy routine again. That was terrible. Fur worms. Ugh. Ah. Well, she's definitely not here. All right. Oh, please don't drag me into the comedy routine. I will intentionally fail it until you knock me. Whoops. I'll just pretend that didn't happen. Just walk away, whistling, looking innocent. No, 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 no. No. Darn it, where did Vivian go? What the heck? Where is she? Let's 
there any other places she could have ended up? She's supposed to be here. Hmm. Cheryl has gone to do some shopping for me. By the way, I hear you've already gone to level 35 of the tower. You're amazing. Your father was also very strong. You must run in the family. One day you brought the healing herb. Confirmed that... The day you brought the healing herb. Confirmed that fact in my mind. Yeah, just as I thought. E snooping as usual, I see. I figured that was the reason I was able to recover so quickly. And that you, Ko, were the one who brought them here. Why didn't you tell me? You insisted on keeping it a secret so you'd make an effort to fully recover on your own. It wouldn't help you if you if your recovery was solely due to other people. Of course I'm gonna make an effort myself. Why shouldn't I? Ko is a very important person to me. He risked his life to get the healing herb for me. There's no way I'm going to put that effort to waste. Curry? <laughs> She's confused, too. <laughs> now it runs in the family because we're part monster. Hey, how's it going, Drabard? Sorta, of, we're working on it. The dragon is amazing. It's the most insane pet ever. I'll show you why in a second. Well, I bring the healing herb, but for everything, ever since we first met. I'm glad it was you that brought Chuppy to me. So there you have it. Huh, that's a load off my chest. I just wanted to tell you how I feel. And it's the first time ever that I've used up so much courage. Look. Seems like everything's going good in her life. Excellent. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, wait till you get a load of what this dragon can do. It's insane. It's not even evolved yet, and it's already the greatest pet ever. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, maybe. We'll see. We gotta get the dragon all powered up first. We've got Stark, we've got Gerudo, and we've got this monster. Okay. So. In a second, I'll start showing off what this thing can really do. Okay, first off... There's this. Ah, darn it. It's a line attack. It'll hit everything in a line. I think. I actually haven't tested it to see if it will hit multiple enemies or if it'll get stopped, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I won't go over water at least. All right. Now, the really cool thing that it can do though is related to this coin here. I was calling previous pet garbage disposals. Well, that's nothing. He loves eating 
Anything that's metallic, it restores all his MP. And then he can resume, like, he, he could go infinite. Money is everywhere. Yeah, I fused a clown into him. I just want a block or an arachne to really finish him up. Oh, and evolving him, of course. I want a full-size dragon. Unless there's some weird condition to evolving him. I sure hope not. I sure hope he just evolves after gaining a few levels. Yeah, yeah, this dragon. The problem with the block is that he passes out too easily. But if I'm using the dragon all the way up, then the block I can I can just uh, I can save every single MP restoring item for the block all the way up. See that? Now that's just a dick move. That's a spell, but oh wait, no, I can get at it. For a second I thought I couldn't get up there. This is the run that will power the dragon up. Hopefully, I need, if I could get a Roche fruit, then I could pick either one just by throwing a thing at it. If I could find a, uh, either of those eggs. Yep, yeah, he's every time now. Since I know what I'm after, I think I'm going to start skipping floors rapidly. That's definitely what I'm going to do, actually. I'm just going to be going straight for the ups until I see my targets. You need another hit point. Of course, this will cut his magic in half, which is a shame. The fact that he has basically infinite MP and double the uh, magic potency from the clown is a pretty good combo, actually. Let's see. Oh, no. oh, somebody stepped on something bad. Wait, wait, wait. Add a snack for the dragon if he gets hungry. Okay. How fast can we fly up this tower? Pretty fast, I'd say. I shouldn't go too fast, though. The dragon doesn't have his levels yet. And again, I could just send out Stark. But he gets tired easy. He's got crippling narcolepsy. Sad but true. Oh, well, we're going up! <laughs> huh, I can't give commands while I'm a frog. Apparently, the dragon doesn't speak, Ribbit. Hmm. Another decent trick? Oh, all right. 
think that's good. I'm sure you can eat a living shield. Never mind the fact that it's screaming while you're chewing on it. It's fine. Ooh. One of these. Nice find. Yep, but all of a sudden it seems good to me. Oh. Oh, crap. Don't you dare start with that. And no leveling down us either. Oh, the good news is this is a good way to gain rapid XP. Man, there's a lot of inbound monsters. Mm. Oh, there's so many items. I'm so curious to f see them all. One of them might be sand. I can just slaughter this. Just swords. Worthless swords. What's this? Darn. Okay, I think we're done here. Oh, glasses. Okay. That'll help us find elevators faster. And treasure. Okay. I see the perfect road. There you go. Good, healthy copper. And once this thing evolves, I'm set. Still no sand. There you go. Eat one of these, too. Hmm. pizza delivery guy holding a pizza except it's made out of copper apparently the volcanoes don't like the coins as much as my dragon does pity A 
small flesh sacks. It's not how I describe a dragon. It's got goat horns. Hmm. Sure, you're not secretly part Kieran. Where's the exit? Gotta be here somewhere. Aha! Oh, okay. Mm, don't underestimate human adventures. Or halfling, or elven, or dwarven adventures, for that matter. They're bad news. Any dragon with two brain cells to rub together should know that much. Yeah, you pretty much can't possibly defeat me. It's never gonna work. You can't defeat me. Not unless another immortal cuts my head off. Yeah, and any adventuring party worth their sh salt knows that the dragon isn't gonna land. You're either going to corner it in its lair, or you're going to have a plan to ground it. Or you'll try to foolishly mass teleport onto its back. That's, um... It's not the best plan. I mean, it's got a pretty... It, it's the larger size category, so it's going to win the grapple checks and stuff. So, you know... But you can try! Still smites everything in one hit. Man, fusing a clown with anything is amazing. I have never seen that. I always see them go for like spell casting levels for some reason. Always. It's like, wouldn't it be scarier if the dragon had barbarian class levels? Nobody would ever expect that. Yeah, well, the dragon's got uncanny dodge, evasion, <laughs> all that fun stuff. No, no, don't, don't do that. You really don't want to fight this thing. Wow, they're kicking your ass. Gotta be careful with you. Even I'm at half health. We have been skipping floors a lot. Maybe we've been a little too aggressive in that department. Maybe we need a couple levels. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> How about one hit point? I'm at one hit point. Oh shit.
How'd you like to eat something a little bit higher quality, eh? I think the scary thing about the rogue levels isn't the sneak attack. I think it's the fact that the dragon can sneak up on you. I mean, it's got blind sense, at the very least. You don't. But is... Is it that the paladin is riding the dragon? Or is it that the dragon has a hood ornament? A hood or ornament that can make attacks for it. That's the question. Hmm. No, no, wait. No, no, not fork. Oh, shit. Why'd it have to move? All right. Okay, that's just enough. Just to take the edge off it. Ate this. All right, let's go. Let's skedaddle. Hey, how's it going, Buster? I'll just leave that there. In case I decide I need it later. Oh. Stark! This is your moment! Save me! Problem solved. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Alright, let's put this back in the box. Exactly. Yeah, I think we did enough fighting. Oh, let's keep going. We're only a little bit under-leveled. It's fine. Hmm. Yeah, shit happens. You don't have to apologize. I'd have to always be on time before I could go complaining. God, that electric shock makes me really wish Car S Stark had been able to keep his electric shock on top of the attack, but I guess that would just be asking for too much. 
I'll be just getting greedy. Ooh, steel! Here you go! I bet he does! A nice ferrous metal like that. Good quality steel. Oh yeah, I just realized. My dragon eats metal. My other super pet is made out of metal. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Show me the way! Ah, perfect. <laughs> oh dear. Don't even suggest such things. I think it was the Munchkin book. They had a chart you could roll on to make monsters more interesting. Naturally, one of the D100 things was for, oh, there, there was one of them was coloration. It's D100, and one of the things was rust colored. You know what to do. And I was immediately like, no, why would you ever even suggest such a thing? You monsters! No one needs rust land sharks. No one needs dragons that have breath weapons that incinerate all your gear. No one needs a mind flayer that's more interested in your helmet than your brain. Why white sand? Why the least useful of all sands? Come on. Okay, these are out. So this is the first floor we could find an egg, potentially. Let's start looking. Oh. Well, looks like you're gonna have to have a little... I'm gonna change you to all out. I suppose I could give it double attack. Holy crap, I could. What if I just gave the dragon the ability to move twice as fast as everything else? It would get two moves for every move everyone else got. It wouldn't matter that it uses crazy amounts of MP because it can eat metal. Yes, picket eggs are on the menu. Picket, Arachne, or Block. Any of those are acceptable. I think Picket might be the best, though. Sneak Rust Attacks. Ah. I could probably create... Oh, dear. I could create a prestige class all about Rust. I could do it. An entire class. I could... Shoot. I'd only need to give it three levels, and it would be the most terrifying thing ever. I'd make it a barbarian.
I'd make it a barbarian. It's attack. I would give it the ability to once per day, per class level, make a melee attack that rusts right through your armor as part of its attack. Of course, they wouldn't be allowed to use any metallic weapons or objects. I mean, of course. That should go without saying. Just as a prerequisite to get in the class. Naturally, they'd get a uh, pet, an animal companion, and that animal companion would be a rust monster. Of course. <laughs> Rusty the librarian. Well, yes, he could be a librarian. So long as the books didn't have any gold on them or anything. He could do that. Oh, man. I could write up this monstrosity in my sleep. It'd be so wrong. I think I'd have to make it like vampir- maybe, maybe, maybe make it a kind of vampiric thing where you drink the blood of a rust monster or something? I don't know. I'd have to make the prerequisites appropriate. I shouldn't have skipped. I might have found the egg I was looking for. Ooh, there's an egg! Is it- is it what we want? We have no way of knowing. We have no way of knowing if it's what we're after or not. Okay. So even though I'm not going to be using the kid for a bit, there's no reason for me to put it away since it has infinite MP. But I need Garuda to take out the Vipers. God, I hope this egg is the Arachne egg I so desire. It's probably going to be a unicorn egg though. Wait, don't do that. the other players hate him too because he destroys all the gear that the enemies have. But we all know that players don't play these things. Prestige classes aren't really made for the players. Oh sure, once in a great while, one of your players will play one of the prestige classes, but that's not really why they exist. They exist so the DM can play all of the prestige classes. No, really, prestige classes are a blast as a DM because they're filled with all kinds of weird and terrible powers. It, they're not always all that great, and often they require pain-in-the-ass prerequisites like 
must have burned down a building just to watch it burn. Stuff like that. But you're just like, and now I have this character who's combined these three prestige glasses. You weren't expecting a goblin to do this, were you? Now, in particular, I liked some of the psionic ones. There were some obscure... There was a lot of obscure prestige classes you could pull out that did really weird stuff. Uh, there was a... There was one ridiculous one that was a halfling mounted class. Oh, and of course, the damned halfling slim, slingers. That could... Their whole class was around the fact that they'd hit you with a sling stone and it would bounce off of multiple targets. It's like, yeah, he flings a sling stone at you and hits the entire party. With every attack. <laughs> yes. What is it? Oh, please. Oh. I don't, what am I going to do with that? I should just feed it to one of you. Hey, garbage disposal. I know you prefer coins, but how would you like to eat a wee dog egg? That'll teach it to be a wee dog. Oh, it's just for... Okay, it's just up there. Just a little confused as to where I was, I guess. move in front of that oh well I guess being air element you're largely unicorn proof I mean I guess unicorn means one horn right so I mean I guess it qualifies Shape. We don't need to feed them anything. Oops. Gotcha. All right. Fine. Darn it. That's three white sands and no other kind. I knew I was getting kind of lucky with the red sands on previous runs, but come on, at least one red or blue. Come on. I need more power. Drat. All right. Still haven't found the exit. Hundred and thirty damage. That's not enough. We need to suffer more. Blocks are here. All right, we need to start searching every inch for block eggs. Hmm. 
I don't care about you. Hmm. Egg? Oh! Why, hello there! Still got the little goat horns, I see. Uh -huh. You are nine levels below Garuda. You have almost as many hit points, and you have as much attack power. Man, by the time you catch up... I fuse something amazing to you. Mm. God, but I hate these things. You know what, I should have just done this last round. There could be block eggs, we gotta keep going. But it's a small floor. See, small floor. I think after this floor I can put Garuda away again. I hope. Just as soon as I stop seeing vipers. thing to carry on me. I haven't found a wind crystal. Oh, shit. I mean, a water crystal is amazing, but I need to start slowing down. be one more. I don't think there is, though. Oh, these things are loose. We should be past the vipers. I 
I think. I think it's okay to just use the dragon for a while. Ah! Man, your animation was much cooler when you were a baby. I'm glad I woke up just in time. Yeesh. Oh, good. I was just... Just like, oh no, oh no. And then there it is. You are one well-fed dragon. This place is a smorgasbord. I should unleash this thing on Gosh's house so it can eat er all of his metal. and balls are particularly useful but oh lucky me murder I could find a picket egg or a block egg. Could you imagine if this thing was punching twice as fast? Hmm. I don't know where you are. Think you can hide from me? Psh. I knew exactly where you'd be. That was a little bit sneakier. All right, we're done with this one. Man, this dragon is amazing. My awful and terrifying dragon. Leveling up like crazy. Ooh. This one might give me a little trouble. I have one of those back home. Let's see. Well, this could be something good, maybe. Suppose I'll have to give something up. Yeah. No. Having one of these would be incredibly useful. I actually want to keep that one. Do I have anything I'm willing to throw away? Why, yes, this trained we're on. The poison. Here, eat poison! A uh, fork. Oh, 
Alright, let's see what our egg is. Viper! <laughs> Man, I don't even want to think about trying to get a second dragon. It takes so much time to find an egg at random. Or to even luck into another Rosh fruit. Ah, I think that just blew up that paralyzed wand. We're getting stronger. Still men are proving to be less and less of a threat. Oh, shit. Hello, you. And that thing hits hard. But it's worth good XP. God, a viper egg. Ugh. Okay, I only need one, as long as it doesn't get stolen from me by a stupid picket. That could be terrible. If a picket runs off with your only wind crystal, and then the floor collapses. Not a single stat boosting sand this run. I need your blood all over this crystal. Healing, healing. Oh, hi. <laughs> no, no, don't lead them back to my house. I'm gonna call this dragon Rusty. You're supposed to lead them to Gosh's house! Or maybe the restaurant, just to confuse everyone. Aha. Uh -huh. I was hoping another one of you would show. Huh, a weak ball. I even care what it is. Could be a holy sword for all I care. Oops. Oops. Well, that was useless. Ah! Oh, it wouldn't eat my bathtub. It wouldn't decide that it was both the water dish and the food bowl. It couldn't. No, I'll teach it better than that. Come on, give me another, give me another bow wrong. Stop sending my weakness after me. I think they only show up on like this one floor too.
Hmm. Well, they did stop sending my weakness after me. How's your MP holding up? Ooh. Okay, good enough. Oh, hey! Just in time. Have a snack! Come on, give me the good stuff. Whoops. You're holding out on me. Alchemic scroll? I don't remember that. We've gained a lot of levels this run on the dragon. So does this allow me to lose an arm and a leg and turn all items on the floor into gold coins? Why would I want that? Surprise! gonna collapse on us okay okay yes I'm leaving Oh well. Alchemic scroll. I don't remember that. Must be the rarest item. I would have made that item more common. I mean, it wouldn't cool to find it on early floor. It wouldn't have been too OP. Even with it being gold fruit. Hmm. The more pita fruit I have, the better when I break out Stark. He burns energy. Okay, is there any egg I want right now that would be here? I haven't seen a picket. Oh, finally! Yes, please. Let me see. I don't want another snow. Oh, well, never mind. Take that question off my hands. I'm slowed. And it doesn't even matter. Oh man, picket. If a picket comes at you while you're slowed, it'll get four turns for every one that you get. I see. Naplas is on the loose. Starting to get to the powerful stuff. Ugh. It hits so hard, too. Hmm.
Okay, should be one item down here. Nothing. Man, this endless MP thing is a huge weight off my mind. Monsters have become so much less common as we've gotten higher. Bye! Fool's gold? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the idea of calling him Rusty. I think it's fitting. Oh, now I'm just finding the great stuff. Stuff I've been looking for all this time. Plus 20. It's not enough. <laughs> we need more shield. And a better rod, too. Yeah, I was figuring that, and there's two shields down there that I'm really expecting. He could, if I change his element. But, at the moment, I think I'll keep him in fire. But I could change him into a wind dragon and have him take Gerudo's place and take, uh, Gogglor back. can't guarantee that this would kill it. I'm a feared. I'm a feared. I needn't have been a feared. Oops. Oh well, you'll eat this, I'm sure. Yeah, good sturdy shield thing. Uh-oh. That holy thing wore off too quick. Shit, why'd it move that way again? If I miss or if it crits, I'm dead. I've got no good way out. That can't miss. I could lose everything if I miss. I don't like it. God, I don't like it. I really don't want to lose my my shield and my rod. Okay. I wasn't supposed to skip two turns. Alright.
Okay. Uh, the Naplesses? I'm not sure. I don't know what their special power is. Maybe it's falling the power to fall asleep. Cuts the XP the dragons receiving in half, but yeah, I figured. <sighs> Don't like how close I'm cutting it. Or at least I have a medicinal herb now. I think I kind of need Stark to be Stark. I don't want to fuse him away. He's too good as my one water type. Oh, that did nothing. Yeah, if I find another block egg, definitely. That did not heal enough. For some reason, I thought that would have healed more. Heal. Just sit and heal. two-thirds of the way up on health. Oh, that's a nice thing to find. Kid makes me think of Chrono Cross. I'll have to change your name when I get back. I'll keep this get out of jail free card instead.
Lock egg, spider egg, pick it egg. I'm not picky, I'll take it. Oh shit. Get out of jail free card. I choose you. Holy shit. It's a scorpion's nest. The last thing I want is this sneaking up on me while the scorpions are surrounding me. What are you doing over there? They can't get out of the room. it's pretty good about being able to follow me, but ow, oh, fork you! Every once in a while. You know what? I'm too lazy for this. Excellent. Yeah, Killer Queen. Ah, of course, my mind immediately snaps to JoJo's. That was one hell of a villain. I really wish I had a holy bell. Hey, no poison. Okay. Feels vaguely like it's a Metroid track. This music. Just slightly. full of coins. All right, one sec.
Okay. Just one sec. Alright. Just a sec. Almost done. Okay. I'm not addicted. I can stop any time. I just have to play another game while I'm playing this game. That's all. It's, 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 it's a perfectly healthy obsession, really. You wouldn't fire off random level downs like that. Alright. I'm gonna start using Stark soon. Up with the confusion. Oh. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I can't do anything. Oh. <laughs> I can't even use a wind crystal to. Okay, good. Stark! It is your moment! <laughs> One shot it. Okay, so things have suddenly gotten really ugly, but. I have this. So I have the dragon back. I can just send this home. Alright. Okay. So, for the next few floors, we're going to kick ass. I've got a water crystal and some pita fruit. Ow. There we go. Either would be nice. Dub double attack includes double the movement speed. But block would be awesome too. Ah, oh, I'd be happy, so happy with either. Double attack power from the spiders, good too. Hmm. Oh hi. <laughs> Maybe I could find another dragon egg and fuse two dragons together. 
while laughing maniacally. Copper sword. Yeah, I believe so. Oh. Man, if I miss twice in a row, that thing would just kill me. Just dead. I hate this place. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable every encounter. I could still be one-shotted. Okay, now I'm slightly out of one-shotted range. Unless they crit, in which case they could one-shot me at full health. Buy wand, buy shield. Maybe my familiars are getting so powerful it wouldn't... Well, no, I need the shield. There's no getting around the need I have for this shield. Ah. <sighs> Boygandy egg. Wonder what's in here. <laughs> Probably not. Once again, if only there were mods. Don't 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 step in front of me. I know for a fact you're rigged to be behind me. Literally, I have you set to stand behind me right now. Alright. Dragon just wants to be in the front row all the time. Nah. <laughs> Not gonna mess with that. Not a junkyard, it's a habitat for dragons and rust kraken.
<laughs> nope. Mirror shield. Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh dear. Who invited all of you? I think I can take this one. That's right, you go after the giant thing made entirely out of steel. My cold steel colossus. That's what you should be hitting. Not the weak fleshy thing. That looks oh so vulnerable. Don't try to attack that. Alright. Some, I fought something in a uh, darkest dungeon that was kind of like you glaciers, except with more madness. Dragons. Well, we bought our Ow. Brought our dragon up to level thirty. made a big icy rock and kicked it at me. <sighs> Do hunter balls are more useful than poison. Still got one full restore for both my familiars. And two pita fruits. I could actually let Stark go, just let him go wild.
punching. You're dead. Haha, <laughs> you try that. <laughs> ah, I'm afraid there's no there's no uh, camera for us. Unfortunately. Conspicuous absence of monsters. Qualify. I don't want a golem. Why, why, why would you move there? Could still be a room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Hmm, quite the tr little treasure room. Come on, I'm almost fully healed. Seven. Surprise! I learned how to wake people up from Nico.
Should be about time for Stark to level up, right? This is higher than we've ever been, by the way. Yeah, seems like somebody got the whole golem creating process wrong. Oh. And it's white again. Well, I got no outs to bring it back. And I can't really... Oh, that's my dragon. Oh, oh! I was like, wait a minute, aren't you the wrong shade? <gasps> hey! We gotta catch him. He could be our ticket to good items. Nice shit. Darn, it got way clean. It's all right, we'll find him. He's too valuable to let escape. What the hell is that? Stark, this was on you. Oh, you're the maximum. I thought the maximum was... I remembered the name Maximum as a high-end monster. Okay, so it can't kill Stark. It's probably in Fire Element then. I still ain't letting one of those touch me. Could I get an egg for one of those, please? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we've made the ultimate being in Stark. If it wasn't for how quickly he used up his gas. Oh, no, 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 no. Spare him, please. Oops. Yes, we will immediately. The dragon was supposed to be the king of all monsters. So what is this thing? The emperor? Ugh. No. Murder. Beep. Murder mode activated. I swear that's a monster from that I'd expect in a Metroid as one of the bosses. Hmm. 
Oops. Oh wow, seven damage. That actually hurt. Wow. Vanishes MP of the monster ate this fruit. We've never seen this. Garapita? We're still seeing new items. Okay, I mean, it's pretty cool. It would make a monster pass out. All right. Hmm. Think it's valuable? Oops. Weakens defensive power. Never seen this one either. We're on a high floor and it's spitting out rare items now. Not necessarily good items, but they are rare. All right, let's find out what we've got. Uh, well, we have a weird ass fruit. And lots of levels. And I have three level up seeds back at home that I can potentially give my dragon. Shit. Oh no, I know what I did wrong. That's an embarrassing mistake. Well, shit. Give me another bow wrong. It's actually doing real damage. Stark's down to less than half health. That's crazy. Anyway, I've got a couple item slots open to pick up good stuff. Darn it, why'd you move in front? Whoa, 26! <laughs> wow. If I didn't have this, Stark would be defeated right here and now. It's amazing what losing the uh, support of the second pet does. One familiar is just not good enough. On the other hand, he is getting all the XP now. He's not having to share. So that's really good for him. Also, his attack power and defense power will go up when he leaves. So when we come back, he'll be a slight tiny bit even better. All right, fine, let's go. Let's see if we can find a couple more things and get out of here. <sighs> no, Kraid, Kraid. Oh, 
Wow, that time it took multiple hits. I don't have anyone that eats coins anymore. Hmm. No one I can feed cheaply. Must be interesting for dragons, seeing as how humans are using f what they consider food as a currency. I lost my Garuda. Oh ho, ho 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 ho! I even have a truth glass on hand. A killer egg. Well, I mean, okay, a killer's pretty scary. Are you set to murder mode? Okay, good. You take care of it. The golems of the drills are the only thing strong enough to actually hurt you around here, it seems. So... Hmm... Might? I don't know, we'll have to see. Always happy. A killer dragon, yeah it does. Has a nice ring to it. Okay. That one seemed a little bit weaker than the ones we were fighting earlier, somehow. Okay. I think there's one more room over here. Alright, go ahead and take care of that. Yes, he does. Fuse him with a golem! No, he's too awesome as Spider Kraken Stark. I do wish he had the electric, though. <sighs> but the attack is too good. Yeesh. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's go for the room over that way first. How are you holding up? Okay. You're okay for now. Surprise! Yep. Pretty terrifying. But they also sleep, so, I mean, you know. The design's not quite perfected yet. Okay, I'm gonna cut through like that, and I'll get every item on this floor. While minimizing my risk.
Tough call. So, tomorrow's Age of Wonder. But the day after, sh we should be ending this game. I'm not going to go up there without, you know, with, with just, just one pet. But next time, we will finish this game. I think this is my strongest pet right now. The monsters are growing more numerous as I get higher. Excellent. Leveling again. Oh, was that it? Oh. We're done. So we got a few things. Perhaps not everything I wanted, but... Oh, man. I need you to sell some stuff for me. All the stuff. Yes, yeah, sell the wee dog. Sell the viper. Alright, I guess I'll keep that thing. Wow, 8,000. Not bad. Huh. Alright, let's look up maximum on the monster book. And then let's poke around and see in the... Uh... Let's see. Let's hatch him first. Awaken, my killer. Alright, dual axe wielding super monster hatched. I wonder what happened if I just had that and then did the spider to increase its attack and just went with it. God, you're ugly. What an ugly pattern. Like a bunch of squid kids came and had a little war on top of you. Well. Nope. Don't mind me. I'm not taking insane risks or anything. Nothing you need to worry about. Constantly being on the almost edge of death. There's still several we haven't seen. Hmm. The snowman, I think, evolves. Though, ooh, the spider might, too. Maybe. Where is the maximum? Is it not here? Is it not in your book? Does it not fall under the same elements that the rest of us do? Huh. 
Products are frequently used as ingredients in magic. Well, that's great. Is it because I didn't kill one myself because my, my pet did all the killing? Might be. That might be the rule. Well. Pooh. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's go visiting. How are you doing? Glad right to see you. Delighted to see you. You'd rather speak me speak in a delicate, womanly manner, wouldn't you? That, that doesn't sound like you. I guess I'm not speaking naturally, am I? You know, I was brought up by my father alone, so before you know it, I was speaking exactly like him. Besides, as a kid, the other kids in the neighborhood were all rowdy rascals like yourself. I guess you can't change old habits overnight. Hmm. Let's see. Recently, even when I read my favorite books, I'm just not satisfied. Do you know why, Ko? Ah, uh, no, stop, no, yeah. Okay. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Let me see at the bar. Probably nothing. Where did Vivian end up? Hmm. Should be over here. How much cash do I have? 54,000. Let's build a racetrack. Oh, there she is. And her four clones. Two of which are wearing the same colored dress. Hmm. She's not quite dancing in unison with the others. You made a mistake while dancing, didn't you? Be more careful, will ya? You don't say that in front of a customer, do you? Where did all these women came from? I never saw them in town before now. Go, did you see me on stage? Somehow? From another room? I'm sure I'll show you better dancing next time. Okay. Keep aspiring. I don't want to talk to Fawn. He'll try to drag me into a performance. Let's see him. Pretty sure everything has finished out with this one now. Now that she discovered the truth. <laughs> really? Married to a certain somebody? Man, you work on that doctor fast, don't you? Well, I wish you two the best of luck. Bye. <laughs> you two have my blessing. Bye. What? All right, let me see. Take a quick shower. Where'd the celloist go? And let's save.
And the next time we play, it should be end game. Hmm, weird. Somehow I haven't finished the plot line with Nico. I have not finished the plot line with the library girl or, of course, Vivian the dancer. I see. <laughs> but I'm not going to marry Vivian. Gosh, can keep her. I'm gonna go with Patty or Fur, the working girls. One of them. Uh, uh, anyway, until next time and every time, this is Hadrix signing off. Bye.